All right, so I started my day right here on the Stairmaster. Usually I've been doing it in a garage, either on my curved treadmill or um, the walk bike or going outside. But considering my weekend schedule isn't as busy this weekend, I am here in Boise and I'm gonna take advantage of the Stairmaster. I just find that it's easier to get your heart rate up and be completely level and maintained throughout the session. You may wanna do some hit, but I'm just doing steady states at the moment. Um, and I just find it's a great all over body workout. My, I, I feel my body core temperature going up and it's more of an instinctive thing where I feel that I'm uh, burning more fat. It's not as good for your cardiovascular system, I find, but it's great for just maintaining your muscle and burning the fat. This is me, this is me personally, this is what I feel. So uh, whenever I can, I'll take advantage of it. So I'm just hitting uh, anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes on a weekend. Uh, if available, so I just find this a good piece of cardio equipment and if you do have one available at your disposal take advantage of it specifically uh, for fat loss purposes. Man, I am hungry so it's time for some food. So this is my breakfast which is pretty much a standardized breakfast for me. The same every day um, where I have a couple of eggs. These are whole eggs, humane raised eggs. I got some grass-fed uh, bison here as well. And I got some kimchi and sauerkraut. So obviously the kimchi and sauerkraut are fermented vegetables, which is good for your gut microbiome. Uh-oh. Dogs uh, want some as well. And uh, obviously I try to stay away from any antibiotics. So that's why I have the grass, completely grass-fed uh, bison and uh, the humane raised eggs. So I'm having fats obviously and protein. I've got a little bit of olive oil on here as well, but no carbohydrates. I don't have any carbohydrates with my breakfast now. Um, I find that by just having the protein and fats a little bit more satisfying, it doesn't uh, give me any sort of like an insulin spike first thing in the morning. I prefer to kind of save my insulin spikes to closer around my workout. So before my uh, workout, I will have um, like cream of wheat, uh, with my protein powder and then obviously have my pre-workout after that and then straight after my workout I'm getting a sufficient sufficient insulin spike from my whey protein isolate but then within an hour I'm eating my carbohydrates again and sometimes again that can be from uh, cream of wheat or uh, rice something along those lines and I've just found that my workouts have been better. I get a better blood flow somehow. I, I have no idea why. And I'm just a little bit more receptive to those workouts. So, um, you know, this is why I'm having, this is a standardized breakfast right now. To begin with, because I'm used to having just eggs and oats, it felt a little bit weird, but you know what? I absolutely love it now. So um, I need to tuck in. I just had myself a sauna for about 25 minutes, and I used that time to stretch out uh, the entire time that I was in there and chill out, meditate, quieten my brain a little bit, and then I've just followed it up with a very cold shower. So obviously I'm bringing an erythema heat to the areas around my body when I'm in the sauna, and then I shuttle that away uh, to get rid of uh, to get rid of the heat. Just think of like, for instance, you're having an injury to an area, or you've gotten it over inflamed, or you've got uh, you know you're breaking down muscle fibers. Uh, but then you ice it. You know you see a lot of uh, sport injuries usually being treated treated straight away with ice ice compression, uh, elevation, etc. Uh, so I like to do that myself. Halt and cold thermogenesis. Um, you know, I, I, I've read a lot of research that it can help mobilize fatty acids into the bloodstream as well. So that's one of the reasons why I do it. But uh, more than anything, I just feel invigorated. Uh, it feels like my brain unlocks any potential that may be lying there dormant. And, um, you know, if I'm a little bit groggy, a little bit tired in the morning, I find it's great. And if I have one before bed, before getting underneath my warm quilt, I feel cozy, I feel secure, I feel nurtured, and I'm able to fall asleep quite easy as well. So, um, you know, it, it, it's great for both purposes, basically, but I do suggest that you do it uh, as another form of discipline, because if you get used to doing things that you don't want to do, then it's going to be easier to accomplish and attack other things that you don't want to do, but you know that you need to do them to achieve success. Anyway, 
beautiful, cold, invigorated shower, and I'm ready to attack the day. This right here is one of the many tests that I tend to do that you'll um, often see me having sent to my house. Uh, you know, sometimes I have blood panels. Last week I did an ancestral test by a company called One uh, Twenty Twenty Three Me, and this is a Tello Years test. I've done this several times, and the reason why I like to do this is that this test is to test your biological age. So you have what's called telomeres in your body, and the length is dependent, or the dependent your age is dependent on the length of. Um, of these telomeres. So, you know, if you put your body through like a lot of inflammation, extreme activity, um, and you know, drinking, smoking, or whatever you are doing that's promoting an unhealthy lifestyle, that can dictate your telomeres to become shorter. So this actually measures that. So I don't give a shit about my chronological age and neither should you, but I feel what is more important is your biological age. Now, how accurate that this is, I don't know. I have no idea. However, from what I've heard from other people, it is relatively accurate. And more importantly, is that you should track your progression. Much like if you jump on a weighing scales, that might be completely different to another weighing scales. What is important that every week you weigh yourself on the same weighing scales for your progress. So what I do with this test, I just open it up. I do a little pin prick with this right here, okay? And I'll put the blood on a strip and then I'll put it into this little tube with my, with the date here and all that sort of stuff. And I've already regis registered this online as well. So they have all my details and they'll have my details from previous tests as well. So there's various tests, you know, I'm not saying that these are essential at all. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician. However, I know other people that do these tests and uh, it makes me feel good to know that I can do things in my life to increase my health span, my lifespan, and uh, hopefully decrease my biological age. And you know, other things that I do other than eating well, and uh, you know, making sure that I'm hydrated and exercising is meditation and relax relaxation. So I do have a meditation area upstairs, but quite often at night, if I go to bed and my brain is racing and I'm, I'm thinking, you know, it's gonna be hard to just clear my mind and go to sleep, I will put on what's called a muse. So yes, I go to bed with this on. And this is measuring my brain waves. So it has to collaborate with your brain waves. And then you've got headphones on as well. And you are listening to sounds of like the weather, a gaggling brook. And the louder that is, the more your, race, your brain is generally racing. So your job is, as you're meditating in bed, is to quieten that, that sound as much as possible. And usually within 10 minutes of me having that guided meditation on, I am out for a count. And obviously, you know, keeping your cortisol levels at bay, stay more relaxed, more grateful, are all little attributes that uh, I like to practice in order to uh, increase my health span. So, you join me for cardio, had breakfast, had a cold shower, and uh, I've obviously described the telliers and the muse, etc. Now I'm gonna go out for my run, as the weather is beautiful for it. So I hope you like this video, and I'll see you back in the gym.